Hi, this is Pastor Dana with our Wednesday chat. I'm glad that you're here with us. And I want to encourage you, by the way, to uh, be checking out our worship video that we've been posting each day this week. This is kind of special just for Easter week. We want you to be thinking and focusing on Jesus during this week. You know, praising him in the middle of our circumstances uh, is not only biblical, but it calms our fears and anxieties, and it creates an environment uh, where God loves to reveal more of himself to us. So I hope you're checking that out and enjoying those videos each day. Uh, also, I want to encourage you to utilize the uh, devotional uh, that was included in the Easter celebration kit. And uh, hope you're doing that. If you didn't get one of those, you can uh, find the link, which is usually attached to the worship video, and uh, get into that devotional a little bit this week. And uh, you can do it by yourself. You can do it with a, a friend. You can uh, do it with your family. There's some questions there you can kind of discuss together. And again, just kind of keeping our, our focus on Jesus during this week. You know, uh, all my life I had a 2020 vision uh, until I got a little bit older. I was always proud of how well I could see. But then as I started hitting the 30s, I noticed that uh, I wasn't seeing clearly anymore. And every week and month and year that went by, it was a little bit worse. And so I finally broke down and, and got glasses. And I remember the first day that I put on my glasses, I was like, whoa, this is incredible. I can see everything. Everything kind of comes into focus and it makes sense. And it was just beautiful to look through uh, those glasses and see the clarity. Well, you know, sometimes um, we get a little bit messed up with our vision, uh, looking at things that are around us. And have you ever tried on somebody else's glasses before? Wow, that's an experience. It's like it's distorted. It makes you sick, gives you a headache, everything else. Nothing makes sense at all. Well, here's the thing I want to encourage you today in. Don't look at this week. Don't look at Easter week through the lenses, through the glasses of your own circumstances that you're going through. Because if you do, you'll miss the clear picture of what this week is really represented and all about. Instead, look at your circumstances through the glasses, through the lens of what this Easter week is all about. It changes everything. It gives you clarity. It helps you to see things that you may have completely missed before. So that's the encouragement that I want to give to you this week. Here's the big picture. God is working his plan. And he's allowing some things to happen that are shaking us. You know what I'm talking about. And some of the things that we thought were really important to us, we're going to realize those things aren't that important after all. And other things that we kind of treated casually in our life, we'll realize those things are very important. So embrace that shift. Uh, change the priorities that you may need to change in your life. And uh, adjust those things accordingly. And let me just ask you, are there some things that maybe God is whispering to you to make some changes in? If he is, meditate on those things and then make some decisions and some actions to change those things. I would invite you to uh, tune into our Easter services this week online. We're really excited about them. Uh, there's going to be some great worship and uh, Pastor Shane's going to be speaking. Uh, they're available on uh, YouTube and the MVF church.tv site, which is where we'd really like you to watch it, and also all three campuses' Facebook pages. But tune into that. Encourage your friends to watch. It's so important that we reach out to those that are around us right now, and people are really searching. People are hungry. So this is a great opportunity to encourage them to check out our online service this week. It begins at 10 a.m., and I hope that you'll be tuned in. Have a beautiful day, and we're looking forward to being with you on Sunday morning.